What's up everybody, Knuckle Duster here again, playing some random games here in the middle of the day, usually playing with Yard Ninja and Doc and Ziggy Phoenix, Flyers fan, I haven't played with him in a few days, Pure Vicious, uh, been trying to get some game time with him, uh, jumping in a random room here, see how it goes, not much communication going on, which is really terrible, two people are quitting out there, it's five on two and three bots, which is not extremely fair, but uh, running in every wall here. All right. On blood drive, I usually always come through grenades, like always on that left bumper, checking out where my enemies go, watching the bottom left screen, seeing who's getting what. We got torque, uh, grenades. Always like to come through the back for a flank, because everybody, uh, if you like to play back a little bit, everybody's going to rush power weapons. Just remember, for the most part, always spot the enemies. And with the hammer burst, you can get some pretty good shots. Like just right there, this guy is just... You know, that guy whipped his shotgun out was going to try to take the kill. If I was playing ranked or something, you know, it's not really... I usually call them out. If I'm too far away playing execution and I can't get the kill to finish it up, I will tell people, go ahead, grab that down, you know. Um... One thing I don't like about Blood Drive is a huge cluster mess that happens when you're actually uh, coming out through the corridors. Um, checking the back side here. Got one on the other side of me there. See if I couldn't finish him off with my... Watch it. There's a guy coming there. I'm gonna tag a grenade here. Always try to help your teammates. Um, if they are getting hurt or um, damn it, I'm just running like crazy. It's four on two here and. Sawed off is a terrible weapon. I mean, literally, if it's four on one, sawed off is completely unnecessary. It's completely unnecessary, period. But I figured I'd make myself a video here, see how it works. You know, let you guys check it out. I'm gonna go up here and perch for a minute, see if I can't get some spots. We got one going towards nades, two just hanging out over there. Some still coming from spawn. Got one down. See, with the hammer burst, if you're pretty fast with it, you can get down pretty quick. Your teammates can capitalize on it. Try to get some grenades in there. It's totally worth it to take the extra couple seconds. To reload your active on the hammer burst always worth it one thing a lot of people don't do is grab meat shields and I always have a meat shield with me whenever the opportunity arises you know and this guy down here doesn't even see me Flamethrower from behind got me. Didn't realize he was coming. But you can't win them all. I mean, I stayed alive a lot longer than my whole team. Um, 
mainly because I didn't just take off and die. I'm leading with four kills, five downs, only two deaths. Um, play smart, especially if you're playing with random people. Just play conservative. Watch where your people go. I got two, one rushing down low. He's just running off by himself. You know, the problem, everybody thinks they're just don't need any help. So that's always the wrong idea, that mentality to have here when you're playing. I got one coming around here. I'm gonna see if I can't hold on the corner. Make sure to check my left from time to time. See if anybody's coming through. There's a grenade tag over there. I'm gonna throw my smoke. See if I can't get it to blow up. Got him. Always remember, grenades get tagged. Throw the smoke, go check their body. Pick up the other frag there, you know. Back up your buddies, there you go. He took the hit, but that's all right. I'll let him have that one. Anytime you see someone, just shoot. Another thing with snipers, a lot of people hesitate with a sniper rifle. Good grenades there by Big Blue. They're spotting them, got one uh, down low there. Threw the grenade and got the final kill. Forever. Running eight and two now. The new dashboard update come on. A buddy of mine, Turok, is on here. Uh, those little beacon things are popping up. I don't know what you guys think about that. I think it's all quite unnecessary, to be completely honest. But I'm not trying to do montages and things like that. That's not really my style. Um, I would rather talk to people and let them know how I play to see if they can pick up any pointers. Or if, you know, anybody wants to give me any suggestions, I'm always open to listen. Just, I'm always checking corners, hitting corners. You never know when you're going to run around and just get a blind fire shot sawed off right in your face. And then our teammates just running off and dying around there. Got the good kill with the flames there. Two good kills. Hammer burst is very accurate. Even when you don't look down the sights, always, uh... You can use that middle, switch to my shotgun. He missed me with the salt off. He's going to pay for it. I let him run. If he's got a salt off, just let him run. Oh, I missed those shots bad. Didn't miss that one. Go finish him off. Nine times out of ten, if you're battling a lancer with a hammer burst, you're gonna and you're hitting your shots. The hammer burst is much more accurate and much more deadly than a lancer. Uh, retro lancer is good with short bursts at close range, but for the most part, you know I'm not a fan of it at all. No, good stuff. Got my teammate over there. I knew he was flanking around, so. This is just a quick experiment, just to see what kind of video I can put up at the moment. Um, running seven kills, seven downs, two deaths. Yeah. Doing pretty good. I found with a lot of times I join random rooms, a lot of people, um, not really team players for the most part. You know, I try to spot as much as I can. And just, you watch people, and if they're looking at someone else, you know, you can always get a shot off on them, get their attention there. Where the hell did he go? And I got down. Again, like I was saying, make sure that when you join rooms, you know, the number one things that I do, I always check my left bumper for the TACCOM just to see what's going on with everyone, where they're going. Um, always try to follow some teammates if they're going a certain way. Nice grenade toss, Big Blue 34, good stuff. You know, just keep your, uh, use what weapon you're comfortable with. You know, a lot of people like to just whip out their gnashers and just run around constantly. You know, do a little variety. Find something that works for you. Beautiful. That's not a retro or a sawed off. Thank you over here, um, I'm just opinionated about the retros and sawed off. But if you find something that works for you, you're going to have a much better time. You know, you're not going to run around 
and just die all the time and think, you know, I can't get any kills, I can't do anything, because that's completely untrue. I mean, everybody has the bad games, you know, everybody gets frustrated from time to time and so on, but you gotta, can't win them all. You know, I'm running, you know, seven, seven, and three right now, which isn't bad. Walked right into that grenade. Always, you know, plant your grenades as well behind places where people can't see them. Because if they can see them, odds are they're going to shoot them. That was a nice little tag, unless the guy sees the smoke there. It's always a good thing you can bait your enemies in. Like, see, he just baited him. Wow, nice sniper shot there. Uh, me owing my pancake. Nice shot. Ah, come on, running into the walls, man. Um, another thing is I use alternate control scheme. You know, I don't know if you guys have tried it or anything. Definitely worth looking into. The alternate control scheme is really, really good, I think, because a lot of times people will stick on cover when they're running with the A button. With the alternate control scheme, I use the X button to actually run, and the A button still goes in and out of cover like always. See my friend brings the grenades in. I'm trying to run in, back him up. I was just digging around a bit, and I got a Spider-Man halfway across the path. Blast at his head off right there. If you're close and somebody has a retro, odds are they're going to get you. If you rush him with a shotgun, he had the Lancer. So if you're close and you think you can hit it, like these guys are clueless. Oh, camped on the corner for me. Lesson learned. Nice shot with the bull talk pancake. And we won the match pretty well. You know, got some ribbons, not a hell of a lot. Went nine kills, seven downs, four deaths, five and two victory. There you go. That's a knuckle duster, a little gameplay, a little 10 minute for you. So, hope you enjoyed it. Got any comments, go ahead and leave them down there and hit me up. Later.